So yeah, that's you kind of want to have that uh, as soon as possible. Um, there's some other stuff that I need to start building too. I need where's where's stuff? Okay, he's he's building. Okay. I'm just gonna leave them to build that stuff for right now because we because we really need that the our solar generators because we need power. Sorry, I keep switching back and forth. And, uh, do I need more steel? Let's, let's toggle that off. So what this does is say you have... Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. What the switch does is say you have... You have you... Nine times... Uh, Alright, let me... Rewind. When you're building power, you will have power grid. And there's certain things that you might want to have power and certain things that you do not want to have power. So say you're not being raided right now. Um, turns will take up or eat up. receive energy from here and I might have a switch that won't be adding energy to the rest so basically this will be the backup resource and then I'll have a switch and if I talk about that switch on this will this will still power up um, like my base so basically it's a, it's a power grid type thing uh, who's not Did I not have a scary? Okay, no. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Oh. Julie, go over here, please. Find the squirrel. Julie, 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 Julie. Alright, Julie, just. So when certain things happen, like your colonists are getting attacked and uh, things of that nature, um, the game, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have it so that it will pause, or it, it'll automatically pause for you when certain things, when colonists are injured and things like that. So as you can see, um, our solar generators are done, and now they're going to be adding energy to this. So now, what I can do is I can add power conduits. So that from maybe here, so maybe basically all through here. And it also looks like I need a lot more wood. So this will be about 30, 40 degrees. A nice, pleasant 30, 40 So as you can see, you can kind of click on like, uh, it'll say, now that, now that she's injured, it'll say that she's injured, and you can check her health. So right now, she just has, you know, her scratch on her right arm, you know, and, you know, a scratch on her left hand. So right now, I'm just gonna, I have her, who's our, who's our doctor? John's our doctor, can you heal? kind of want her to she needs treatment and I kind of want to give her treatment so 
right now, just have her rest until the heal, and he should go ahead and take care of that cut for her. And then I'll just switch the bed back and forth. So you can also have uh, hospital days, and uh, you kind of want to, you know, kind of need that. So let's switch this bed back. I need to finish I need to finish building this because if it rains on this I'm going to have issues and that's one thing that I do not want to have I don't want it to rain on I don't want it to rain on anything electrical right now stuff to be refrigerated soon because I don't want it to spoil on me just yet. I'm surprised it's lasting this long but still. I need another hauler to be very very honest with you. Uh, it's kind of hard having one hauler to do everything because as you can see everything's being left out here. And that's one thing that um, don't need right now. Um, really quickly though, I need to do this. Colonists don't like eating on the ground. Nobody does. So what you can do is, as you can see, you can place tables and stools. So right now I'm just going to add, since we have so much plastil, um, I'm going to add a plastil table and some plastil dining chairs. So other people will eat here, um, but no, nine times out of ten, you kind of want to place the tables and chairs close to where you're having your food, because if it's not if it's not close to your food, they will just eat it. Basically, they'll basically just pick up the food and eat it right there. Um, didn't. No. Okay. Um, I also need some production. Production. This is basically where you'll have things that need to get, basically have your tables and stuff. And let me explain this better. So as you can see, you have your research table, which is very important. I'm going to have to add that soon. Shit, I won't, I won't forget it. Because this is very important. This is, allows you to basically uh, make stuff better and go deeper into the game. Um, you have the nutrient paste dispenser. Uh, this is like an auto, an auto food dispenser thing where you make paste, um, but it's like it's crap. Uh, if you don't feel like, if you don't want one of your people to do all the cooking and things like that, and things like that, then you would have one of these. Um, it's also, I think, prisoners can't use it either because before you could place them in where prisoners were, so you didn't have to feed them. But that's no longer an option. So I, I rarely use this now. Um, the hopper is like you place it for the nutrient paste. The steel butcher table is kind of self-explanatory. You butcher creatures and you butcher um, you butcher animals. You can make uh, butcher people. You can butcher people. You can butcher animals for their skin and food for their skin and meat. Um, you can also make kibble there too. Uh, I'm just gonna make a wood one. Actually, no. I have a lot of flesh steel, but I don't want to use it all up. So I think I'll make a wood wood butcher's table. You kind of want to place things where it's not going to be a hindrance to the doors because they will have to climb over the doors to get there, and that'll slow them down. Um, however, I don't know where I'm going to place this electric stove, so I think I'll just have it maybe. I don't want it in front of the door. I'll just have it here for me. The space isn't that big. I thought it would be bigger, or I thought I made it big enough, but it's not. Uh, it's not that big. Let's get. Uh, let's get some lights in here. It's a little dark. One here, one there. So 
as you can see, um, I need wood. That's one thing I do need. I need a lot of wood. But um, right now, that's wonderful. We toggle that off. So right now, I can add bills, and what this does is this adds certain bills to the um, things to be done. So our cook, our cook who is John. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm right, John. So if I wanted to, you have three types of meals. Simple, fine, and lavish. Simple has one to two ingredients. Fine has two to three. And then lavish has like three to four. Um, this really fuels you up there like, oh my God, this was amazing. You can only do this if you have a high enough cooking, by the way. So say you have like a cooking of fine, you can only do a simple. I think it's 10 to 15, you can, or five, maybe five to nine might be fine, and then like above that will be lavish. Um, lavish does, so basically, this is really, and also it varies from um, the speed. So simple, which is really fast, fine, takes a little bit more time, and then lavish takes a very long time, because you have three ingredients that are, or three plus ingredients that are going into the meat. So right now I'm just gonna have cooking simple meal. You can have them do you can have them do it a certain amount of times. So basically they'll do it maybe you know 25 times and then that's it. They're done. They won't do it again. You can have it. You can do until you have 25. Um, so basically what you would do you could set it maybe you could have like 10 or like until you have like you know 100. And they'll do it until you have 100. And if you go under, then they'll go. If you go under 100, then they'll go back and do it until you have 100. And then you can just have it do forever. You kind of don't want to have them do it forever. Uh, so right now I'm just going to do it. Um, I'll go into details. So you might have noticed this before with other things. So you have the ingredient radius. So if you don't want them to take ingredients from like all the way over here or like all the way like out of the area, you can uh, you can kind of adjust this. Um, the minimum cooking skill. If you have more than one cook. Um, you can have a certain person like you want the best chef to cook the lavish meal and you want the not so good chef to do the simple the simple meals. Um, you can also choose which meat you want. Uh, you kind of I'm not gonna add you don't want rotten because that's ugh. And as you can see you can click off what you want to eat. Uh, of course human is automatically clicked off because you will get a severe severe hit in your um, sanity if you eat um, human meat, uh, if they don't, if they're not a cannibal. Uh, of course, van, uh, vegetarian, and of course you can do, um, animal product, animal products, and you can choose, you know, which, you know, eggs you want and stuff like that. Okay. Um, you can take it to the best stockpile. So basically if you have, um, so basically kind of like how I have my, um, stockpile right now it'll they would they would automatically take it to like you know the best stockpile uh you can choose which type of which what's you can choose the best ingredients that you want so say you don't want fruit that's below 50 percent they won't use that they'll use 50 and up um things like that okay uh let's do it 26 times 20 26 times, keep it even. And let's go. I'm sorry, my talking is just terrible, I know. Excuse me. Um, I kind of need, once he finishes with, with this, I kind of need quarter tooth to work on 